The information's guide, it's, it's, a, it's a gem. Um, it really helps uh, get a better understanding of what a, the firefighter does, a volunteer firefighter does. Um, and it also helps, um, I think, ease the mind really of family members or even that member who may be coming in. So my name's Josh, I'm the Brigade Community Coordinator here at Geelong City Fire Brigade. So I joined three years ago um, and one of the main reasons was to further my leadership a little bit more, um, but also, um, as most volunteers would say, um, being quite community um, minded um, was one of the other reasons why I joined for the community. Um, I was very proud of him. As a 17 year old coming in and wanted to join the fire brigade, I was, yeah, I was very, very proud of him. But then I was also apprehensive because of what he has to do as a firefighter too. So I was always a bit worried when he goes to calls and things like that, so yeah. It was like a really good guide, especially for someone who was a bit newer at the time. Um, I think it was really good, especially for my family when I was reading it. Um, just, for, just let them really have a better understanding of what I do. Um, and how we do it. So the Information for Families Guide is a resource that's been designed for new members um, to provide information to their families about CFA and what volunteering with CFA means. So it includes topics such as wellbeing, um, turnout times, the training that they go through, different types of membership and the idea is that um, it allows families to understand more about CFA and hopefully increase the retention of our volunteers. I thought it was good because I could have a more of an understanding of what Josh actually did when he went out there and also the training that was involved before I actually went out and done the firefighting thing. So I knew he wasn't going to go out and do things that he wasn't trained for, which was a sort of ease in your mind when he gets a call out because we'd be laying in bed some nights and it'd be two or three o'clock, Josh is up and he's out the door. You know, you're always like laying in bed awake and wondering, but they the sort of put your mind at ease a bit knowing that he's going out and doing things that he's trained to do. So it's good, really good. It gives you the point to where, for me as a father, for him to come home after an incident, just some things for me to watch out for too in Josh. But it does it really just something that would be distressing that Josh might see in the role. So it's a good thing for me to watch out and see how he's travelling.